Okay, today you're gonna learn how to make a panda bear. Uh, this is kind of the idea. I made this design, I don't remember when, but it was for a, a contest for uh, inspiration to twist. And this panda bear won, and I'm very happy. So I'm gonna share it with you. Um, the, one of the cutest part are the hands. Look, how cute. So uh, this is a technique that you can use it for many other animals. Mm? And then also the ears. And what I'm doing here, it's uh, the raisin bean trick. So uh, instead of using glue, you just use raisin beans. And when I'm talking about raisin beans, what's that? I'm gonna show you. I have here like a lot of little pieces of raisin beans that I, it's just like I tied a balloon, uh, like 260 balloon, like three times. And then I cut, you know, all these little pieces. And that's how I can um, do connections with balloons. So let's just start. You're gonna use first a 11 inch round balloon. And you're gonna put in these two. So that's gonna be the connections, two of these racing beams. This is gonna be the connection for um, the head, okay? For the ears, I mean. Okay, let's blow this. So you blow kind of like this and then lose air because the idea is this one have to be soft. So this, I think it will be enough. How big is this? Like probably um, seven inch round, hmm? a very soft very soft balloon and you just tie it so that's gonna be the head and now you're gonna use another round balloon and this time you're gonna put three of these racing beans because we're gonna make the legs and then also the tail so you're gonna put it right here inside and then you blow your balloon <sighs> So you blow that all the way and then you lose air because in case we want this to be soft and soft and it's pushable but um a little bit bigger than this uh, head balloon okay because this is gonna be the head this is gonna be the body so you tie the balloon now um and look these two balloons you can connect it now you can tie it together and you can cut the excess this excess this because you're not gonna use it this time. So I'm cutting it and you have this. So remember the smallest uh, balloon is gonna be for uh, the head. So remember the racing beans? Okay, so you look your balloon, you know, the way in front. This is gonna be the front part that what I'm looking. So you have to be looking like this, but it's okay. So now with Sharpies, you can help you. And I saw this uh, idea of a Chinese balloon twister. And uh, so then I think, let's see, I want one ear right here. So you see, I'm pointing with my Sharpie out there and the other ear this way. So now, if you see in your way, you will see there's two dots and that's gonna be one for each ear. Okay, when you have that, now you play, uh, do this with your balloon and trying to find uh, one of the beans, to, uh, I mean the racing beans and as close as it doesn't have to be perfect, but at least it's gonna give you an idea. Then when you are already kind of a, a pro with this technique of the racing beans, you can you don't need to put those uh, sharp dots. So then with any scrap that you have, I'm using this green 160 balloon just to uh, make the connection. So that means this is gonna be tiny and leave it some space. Just some space there, you're not gonna need all that. Okay, and then you go again with the other side. So we're, we're gonna start making the head. And another scrap, that's gonna be okay. I should have those ready, but nope, of course not. <laughs> Last minute thing. Okay, I'm looking for a scrap. I found this 260 black, I guess it's black. Okay, so when you have that, you tie it, and you have these two things, these things as connectors. Okay, and the same thing in the other side. Now, um, you have the connector for the head. Let's keep going with the head, okay? So now, this is what you're gonna need. Um, you go with a pink balloon, and they, this is I like, it's a double pinch twist. How I made this? So, okay, so this is how I made a double pinch twist. So you just grab a scrap of balloon. It, it's better if it's pink. I'm using just an example. Three finger bubble, another three finger bubble. Twist it together, lock it, and then you look. With my finger, I'm still holding that part of the nozzle, this part, and then I pinch and twist. That I make sure it's not gonna come undone. So when you have that, you can cut the balloon and that's gonna be the double pinch twist. So you're gonna need two of those. And this time I have this one already made it. So you just have to connect it right to each side of the head when you make these balloon connections. And you go to the other side. 
and pull and go around so, okay so when you have that um you're now gonna use a one uh, 60 i mean a 260 balloon black so but that's gonna be in a moment i i prefer kind of to wait but um, because usually make first of the the body <laughs> okay it's okay so you blow a balloon leaving eight finger tail okay now you squeeze your balloon you stretch it and you just gotta make a loop that goes from here all the way around so you just make a touch it around and make the loop okay and that way that's gonna be you connector so when you have that you cut the balloon safe here you gonna do the other ear Okay, and make sure if you can tie it, will be even better. So then, you know, we make sure when you can tie it, I'm gonna use this piece of balloon right here, double knot, and then I can play now with this, look. I just play that this goes around. I can cut this excess now, it's not necessary. So that's how I made one ear, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing the other side. I go around with a one uh, with a 260 black and a squish, make it soft and measure all the way around. Twist and then I make sure this and then this I'm gonna save it because I may use it for one of the hands. And so then I go around and I make sure I tie it. Okay. So when it's like that all ugly, you just, you know, squeeze them and make it into the shape you want it, you know, closer to the head. Keep the pinch twist. So, um, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Pinch twist. Okay, so you have something like this, look. So those are gonna be the panda ears. Okay, now let's move on with it, the body part. Yeah, so now this is what you're gonna have to do. I'm gonna give you an example where uh, I need to blow a 260 black. Okay, you're gonna need a 260 black and blow it all the way, well, leaving eight finger tail, okay? This amount of tail. So it's like an approach of eight finger. Always leave some air out, so then it's soft. And you're gonna start like this, look, you make three pinch twists, like this big. Three. One, two, and three. So that's gonna be kind of the fingers, you know, of the hand. And then here you're gonna make a three finger bubble, but soft, because we're gonna make a big pinch twist. See? And then again, three finger bubble, soft, because we're gonna make it into a pinch twist. Now you pass around a couple times this, and look, this is how it stands. The cute panda hand. And you can use these same techniques for many other animals, you know, for the hands. It's cute. Okay, now you're gonna make a four finger bubble and a pinch twist. And then here you're gonna measure six finger bubble and you're gonna make another pinch twist. Then when you have that, you're gonna make another four uh, finger bubble. And so I'm making the arms, as you can see. And you go with this technique again. One uh, soft three pinch twist, three finger pinch twist, three finger bubble, pinch twist, yeah. Then again, three finger bubble, soft pinch twist. And then with the rest, you're gonna make three pinch twists. So let's start. One. And the thing is getting tight. So when your balloon is getting tight, you're gonna make a little hole, so little, and the air is coming out very slowly. And look, my hand is helping, you know, to not let all the air escape too soon, okay? And as soon as you have, you have to kind of be fast, you know, and now I have all this piece to make the last bubble. So I can use all the air now and I can tie it and already make the pinch twist. And then with the rest of the little piece of balloon that you have extra, you can help you um, everything to connect together just going around a couple times. So now when everything is like crazy, you just fix them. 
you see so it's good you have an idea what you are doing you know so you already know this is gonna be the hands of your panda bear that's kind of the idea so this this is how it, it looks see that's very cute okay now you have the arms and you are gonna use another um black 260 so i'm blowing another one leaving again eight finger bubbles so uh, this is what we're gonna do from one we're gonna touch it here and we're going to put these hands like here see it's now all the way to the other side and connect this so now that the arms are attached okay when you have that now this part remember we attach uh we put inside three um of those raisin beans so what we need to do here is to find again you look your balloon you know make a distance and think where you want to be the uh the legs so then as soon as you see one point it can be imaginary you don't have to do it with your heartbeat then you grab one of the raisin beans so i'm gonna see i'm finding one right here is gonna be so i move my balloon play as soon as i it's one raisin bean there i grab it i twist this and again if you have a scrap of balloons uh it's much better so i'm gonna use this one it's better if it's black <laughs> but i couldn't find the black so i'm using it just in any color okay so then you leave that there as a connector and you go again look and you want the other leg this side so i see it look this is kind of what i'm doing so i'm gonna grab the next one right here and i call it and things doesn't have to be perfect but as close as you can more if you are you're in a hurry and everybody i found this balloon um so this is a technique that if you practice you can be fast at it but um all depends maybe for birthday parties maybe no for line twisting so now this is what you're gonna do you measure all the way this side with the black 260 so i it's like how many fingers one two like 12 like 12 fingers okay so now i you can make a pinch twist pinch twist here and connect it around with the green perfume like good okay and then you look can do this you can make another pinch twist everything is gonna be and now you're going with the, the what is going to be the feet so look i'm going to make a four finger bubble okay you can see it was now two pinch twist and you're going to make the same process so i'm going to make a three finger soft bubble this is going to be the same idea the same thing another three finger soft and then on top we're going with a uh, three finger um three pinch twist smaller so it's the same technique that we did for um the, the arms okay so when you have that then uh, with the rest of the balloon you just cut it and just go around a couple of times so everything is well twisted all around excited so this is kind of like your uh the feet Okay, so we're gonna leave it like that. It doesn't seem what it is, but if you, um, look, I'm gonna show you. Is this what we already learned how to make? Okay, now we're gonna hold another balloon that is a 260. Um, I already made, you know, the other extra leg. So it's the same idea, you see? And you just connect it right here. So you go with the same idea. You make the, what is the hand. And then you leave like a three uh, fingers or four no? and then you make two pinch twists and this part we're going to connect it to here okay okay now you're going from here remember it was 12 fingers so that's the same idea or you just go around and kind of trying to see that it's like mm. Okay, now if you have more balloons, 
you know, uh, you can go again and go one more time here. And that will be, you know, cool if you can do that. But if it's not, just like that, it will be okay. So I don't have more balloons and I don't want to use another balloon. <laughs> so I'm gonna just get rid of this and I'm gonna cut and tie this part. Okay. So um, you can play with this, you know, the way you want it, how you want the hands to be. Um, so this is gonna be like open arms. Okay, so if you attach more pinch twists here, you can maybe play with more shapes. But so far, is this is how it's gonna be. Okay, and then for, for this part of the legs, now you connect it the way that is close, but just like that, look. You see how it's kind of like up? Because here with Sharpie, we're gonna color it white. You know, the pulse, what do you call you know, that part, the pulse? So it's looking like this. And look, I'm gonna show you what, because it's done actually, it's done, we just need Sharpie time, Sharpie time. So I'm gonna start first with Sharpie that I'm running out and I couldn't buy a new one. So let's see how it works. I'm gonna make here one circle and I'm gonna color it. Okay, so if you have a pink liquid Sharpie, it will be awesome because instead of going white and wait this to get dry, you can go and just color it with pink it will be super good so this you go and do it again only for the pulse here at the feet okay so again a big circle for the big pinch twist and then here smaller circles or ovals or something more like a paw <laughs> okay now what now we have to wait so while this is getting drier this is how it made the panda face. I'm gonna show you, um, ta -da! look. So I started making huh, a, a circle. So I measured, okay, this is gonna be the face here, here. So I put it first, I recommend that you put it first to the left side. I don't know, but I'm gonna do it that way. Let's see what happens. So you see, you just look like regular two circles there. And then um, you go with a uh, brown and go around. And you go in a circle and then go around, color the rest. And then the same here. You see? And then what I did was again with the black Sharpie, I do this. Um, it's kind of like coming like this. And then also like this. So again, it goes like coming in here and then like this. And now you color inside. Okay, you color all inside. Okay. Imagine it's looking pretty. <laughs> okay, when you have that done, you can then grab your white Sharpie again. I made the cute white dots that make your eyes look even cuter. Super cute. Okay, and you can make even this angle, this shape, more notorious. Oh, just give it like that. You can even make eyebrows here if you want. Okay. Now, here, I like to do this for the nose. It's a heart. It's supposed to be a heart. <laughs> and black. So you color it. You can always have longer time doing this. That well. Okay, then you have that. You make that smiley face. Just like that. Just like this. And let's see, you can add a tongue if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. And then here, look, I'm gonna do this. Like freckles. And the other side, too. And then, uh, I say the white Sharpie. Okay. It's for you here. I like a little circle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Over. What else? Uh, what else? What else? I don't wanna go there. Oh, cheeks with the pink. Okay, now, I expect this is dry. I hope so. 
but if it's not, I'm gonna start making the cheeks. And this is also optional, but I'll just go like this. Look. Doo -doo. Oh, it's not cute. See? Okay, now here, let me dry. Hope so. You just color it very softly because it may break. So, very soft. I'm going and color each of these white spots here. Okay, and the same with this. And the thing is, I, it will be great if I have a white sharpie. Maybe the chalkboard uh, sharpies, markers may work. But if it's not, look, it's looking really cute like that. You see? So uh, I do the same here. And then the design is going to be done and ready. And this is, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what, I'm forgetting the tail. And probably in the picture, nobody's gonna see it, but if you give it to someone, it's gonna be an extra plus and detail to uh, have a tail, right? This panda bear. But look how cute, it's adorable. Okay, now let's move back here. And when you have this, is done. You can even with a sharpie just color a circle here and that's the tail. Hey, very quickly I'm gonna show you. I think it looks much much better the tail. That's supposed to be the tail of the panda. If uh, you do it with a sharpie. Yeah, why not? Why not? And this is the front part. <laughs> okay, that's it. I think it's much better. What do you think? Look, look at this. Okay. And I should put this somewhere but yes that's the one and this is the other one that i did with uh, the twisting tail so it may be just with one little uh, bubble you know for the tail but i think the sharpie will be much better yep sharpie for the tail i think that's what i'm gonna do next time okay bye bye